Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. On this edition, March Madness is here and it's time for our annual Team Mead Pacern NCAA Basketball Challenge. You can win a $100 Visa gift certificate. Details on how to win in just a moment. But first, our top story this week, gate hours. The Directorate of Emergency Services has announced a change in gate hours effective March 25th. Briefly, the MAPES 32, MAPES 175, and Rockenbach gates will now open a half an hour later in the morning at 5.30. On weekends and holidays, the MAPES 32 and the Rockenbach gate will now open at 9 a.m. instead of 5.30. The Reese Road gate remains open 24-7. Garrison officials are emphasizing that these changes are not related to the sequestration or potential furlough. The change is being implemented to deal with current manning issues. A furlough could mean additional impacts on gate hours and possible closure of up to two access points. In a related story, the ID card section announced this week that they are discontinuing Saturday hours. Additionally, the ID card section will be closed Monday and Tuesday, March 18th and 19th for a systems upgrade. The entire military personnel division will be closed Tuesday for training. Once again, the ID card section is ending Saturday hours until further notice. Earlier this week, the Freeman Dining Facility announced that a valid CAT card was needed to eat at the dining facility. Yesterday, officials offered some clarification. According to Garrison officials, DOD civilians, retirees, and other government employees working on Fort Meade may continue to use their proper identification to use the dining facility on Mondays and Fridays. Elsewhere, the next Applied Suicide Intervention Skills Training or Assist Workshop is coming up April 10th and 11th. Participants learn specific skills that will help them identify those that may be at risk. Program Coordinator Navy Chief Alan Dagg has more. Sometimes uh, people are afraid of, of what to say and how to say it. Um, and there are many reasons why someone may not be involved in intervention. And so we really address those. Um, assist uh, teaches, uh, assist has many different training processes which really make it successful. Um, it's based of, uh, upon adult learning principles. So we do things like utilize positive feedback, we uh, use a lot of, it's very interactive, so there's a lot of Socratic and open-ended questioning. There's discussion, we talk about experiences and focus on attitudes. Um, not that we intend to change anyone's attitudes, but it's important as a caregiver that people are in touch with their attitudes. Finally, March Madness is here, and for the fifth straight year, Pacern Military Housing and MeTV are teaming up for the annual Team Me Pacern NCAA Basketball Challenge. On Selection Sunday, go to the Fort Meade Facebook page at facebook.com slash ftmead and look for our tournament entry. You don't have to know anything about basketball. Last year's winner can attest to that. Time now to reveal the winner of this year's Meade TV Pacern Military Housing's 2012 NCAA Sweet 16 Challenge. The winner is Kelly Newby, a Pacern resident, who says her husband was amazed. He went out in the first round and he didn't even know I played. And then all of a sudden he's like, whoa, wait a minute, you won. We're going to enter you next year for, for real, you know. So it was just kind of a whim. Saw it on the Facebook page and thought I'd enter. You guys are leaving soon, so money can come in handy probably? Oh yes, money will definitely come in handy. It's a big trip all the way to Florida. So um, we're taking about three weeks leave. So we've got a lot of traveling to do in the meantime. Oh, so, yeah. that's great. You we couldn't have come up with a better winner then. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just want to say congratulations on behalf of the Public Affairs Office. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, and by the way, Kelly mentioned that she doesn't follow college basketball at all. The rest of us pros will have to wait until next year. Once again, look for the 5th Annual Team Meet Pacern NCAA Basketball Challenge Entry Form Sunday on Facebook. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.